guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to make dulces enchilados. If you want to know how we made them, keep on watching. So what you're going to need is some sugar, some chamoy, some lucas, and some tajin or valentina as we used. And you're also going to need some lids with containers. And some candy of your choice. These are the ones we chose. So let's get started. What you're going to need to do is place five tablespoons of sugar into a container. And you're going to add two tablespoons of chamoy. And then you're going to mix, mix, mix. <laughs> Maria? It's not mixing yet. Oh. Okay, well, tell them now. Mix. <laughs> you're going to mix, mix, mix. Good job. So you're going to mix this until it's... Uh, Evenly incorporated. Eh, I know words. No, I don't. <laughs> You're smart. Okay, well, once you have mixed your Stuff. mixture, <laughs> you're going to microwave it for 10 seconds, and it should look like this. Ta-da! Next, you're going to pour your candy into one of your containers. And you're going to add uh, two tablespoons of the liquefied candy stuff. Whatever you want to call so it. So what this is going to do is it's going to make your candy all sticky yicky. So when you add your dry ingredients, they will stick. Now you're going to add a generous amount of Valentina or Tajin. You're also going to add your Lucas and also add a generous amount. Then you're going to cover the lid and shake it. Shake it for about 30 minutes. Six seconds, not 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> and then they should look a little like this. Mmm, yum. All the powdered stuff should have covered a decent amount of the Skittles. Now we're going to move on with our watermelon sour patch. Kids. And watermelons. <laughs> and oh. we're going to repeat the process. <laughs> I thought they're kids. Why does it say kids? It does say kids. They are watermelon kids, I think. So you're just going to blend, blend, mix, mix, cover. Make sure that every kid. watermelon or kid, every candy is <laughs> coated. And you're going to continue to add your uh, tajin or your valentina, whichever you prefer. And your lucas. And shake, shake right for there. another 30 seconds. And you should have... Something that looks a little like this. Mm -hmm. Some deliciousness. Mm, they were so good. Now we're moving on to regular Sour Patch Kids. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? We're going to repeat. Oh, shit. Nope. We're moving right on to the <laughs> final product. This is what you get when you repeat the steps. Yep. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed this easy, fast, simple recipe that we found online and decided to recreate ourselves too. And maybe you guys will give it a try. And for those that have made it this far in our video, we do have a surprise at the end. So stay tuned. Something else we decided to recreate. Ooh. So we're going to be showing you guys how we dress a beer. We don't drink, but you know, we could use it for any other kind of juices. You're going to start with a pelon pelo rico, put it in a container. And you're going to microwave it for 10 seconds so it can get soft. Once it's soft, you add some tajin or, or valentina and your lucas. Mm -hmm. And you are going to stir that in. Now you're going to squeeze a whole lime into your mixture. The more juice it has, the better. Then you're going to want to mix your whole mixture. Mix, 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 mix. Next, you're going to make sure that you wash your cans before this. And once you do, apply a coat of this to the lid. Then you can sprinkle some more Valentina or Tajin onto the top of the can as well as a couple drops or whatever amount you want of chamoy make it look something like this and lastly what you do is add some lime to the very top and enjoy drink responsibly you guys we hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to keep keep, <laughs> keep liking subscribing and commenting 
Bye. Bye.